What's up everybody, it's me Pig from Judge Day Fitness and today I want to tell you guys how to get bigger forearms with this one simple set of exercises and I want you to do them every single day if you have dumbbells at home. If you don't, go to the gym as often as you can and try doing this. Uh, but every day for the next six weeks I want you to try this and see if you notice any improvements. Uh, so with that being said, let's get started on this video. Alright, so as previously stated, you are going to need a set of dumbbells for these exercises that I'm about to show you guys. If you do not have some, go to the gym or go to Walmart and get some, Amazon, whatever you got to do. They're very cheap, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I have a set of 15 pounders and a set of 30 pounders. And for some of these exercises, I can use 30 pounders, but I'm going to use 15 pounders for this video because I hurt my wrist in judo or at work last week. I have no idea which one. But anyways, the next thing you have to do is just sit through this quick little plug. I do customized workout programs, $25 each. Five dollars will be given to you per person that you successfully refer to me, and I would seriously appreciate it if you would do that as well. And you know, help your friends, help yourself. Uh, it's customized to your schedule, to your goals, to whatever you need. I got you guys. If you have any questions, you can email me. My email is in the description below, along with my Instagram and Twitter. Follow me there. Follow me here. Subscribe to me on YouTube. You know. Uh, also, like and comment on this video. I seriously appreciate that. Check out my other videos. Do the same. And with that being said, let's get started. All right, so the wrist is a very special joint. It is called a synovial joint. That's why I can go forwards, backwards, left, right, inside, outside, however you want to classify these movements. Uh, and, you know, I bring up the wrist joint because it's a very key factor in building strength and muscle in your forearms, okay? Uh, they also say that grip, your grip strength is very important for building muscle in your forearms, but today we're focusing on the wrist exercises or the wrist joint related exercises uh, and that's what I want to show you guys. Uh, so basically we're going to maximize our potential and we're going to build strength and muscle from using the movements going forward, backwards, left, right, okay? So make sure you grab your dumbbells and let's see what happens. So to start off this exercise, you're going to take those dumbbells, you're going to grab them and you're going to have your palms facing your center line, you're going to have your thumbs facing forward, you're going to have your knuckles facing out. That's the position I want you to have your hands in when they're at your side. And so what I want you to do, another thing that I want you to keep in mind here is that you're not going to be alternating every rep, uh, you're going to be alternating every set. So, there's four different movements. You're not going to switch the movement until you've completed one set of the exercise. You also don't have to keep this specific order, but let's just follow along here. The first movement, you're gonna take the dumbbells and you're going to curl your wrists inward, okay? So, you're gonna be using the inside, this is gonna be building the inside of your forearm, the palms facing up, it's gonna be the muscle going along with that. Uh, that's what it's going to be working on. You're just gonna bring them in. Slowly but surely, don't rush through the sets and reps, don't rush through it, just do it slowly and surely and try and hold it up there for a second, all right? So, you know, a lot of people, they when they finish the rep, they just let it back down. Don't let it back down, focus on your negatives as well. Now, for our second exercise, we're just gonna move in a circle here and you'll see what I mean. I don't really care what order you decide to do these exercises in, just make sure you do them all evenly. You do the same amount of reps and sets for each and every single one of them. Uh, what you're gonna do is, you're going. this is just a preference of mine, uh, but you don't have to do this, but it's gonna help you, so why not do it? Uh, you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna move it from the middle of the dumbbell to the back of the dumbbell and what you're going to do is you're going to try to you're going to treat it like a, a lever or a seesaw you're going to go up and down uh, the the part that's farther away from your hand is going to go up and down you do not have to bring it down to a 90 degree angle i would suggest that you try and go further and again i would highly suggest that you do not rush these reps uh, you know, just bring it up slowly, bring it down slowly, pause for a second when you get up there, pause for a second when you get down, and that is how you're going to maximize the potential of this exercise and get the most out of it. So for our third forearm exercise, what you're going to do is you're going to move your uh, hands back to the middle of the dumbbell again, and you're going to leave them in the resting position, and this time you're going to go from the resting position to outside. So you're going to bring it away from your body, all right? Uh, now again, same thing, slow and steady wins the race, don't rush through these reps, don't rush through these sets as well, uh, and just try and, you know, just try and maximize the potential you can get from this exercise, so pause a little bit when you get to the end of the exercise, or the end of the rep, sorry, and, you know, pause when you get down there for a second, and just, you know, really maximize your potential that you can get from this exercise, okay? All right, so for our fourth and final exercise, uh, this is just going to be the opposite of the second exercise. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna bring them to the forwardmost part of the dumbbell, and you're gonna take them, keep them at a resting position, and then you're gonna go up and down, up and 
down. Same thing, I want you to go slow with these reps and sets. I want you to maximize the potential that you can get from this exercise. Pause when you get to the top for a second. Uh, make sure you're keeping everything even as well. I don't know if I mentioned that in the previous exercises, but it's very important that you are doing all that to maximize the potential that you can get from this exercise. So I'm sure you heard me stressing over and over again how important it is that you maximize your efforts and maximize the potential of these exercises. And that is simply because it is very hard to build good forearms without one, great genetics, without two, being on steroids, okay? Uh, your, it's a very simple fact. Your forearms have a lot of androgen receptors and that makes them, you know, like a lot harder to build without steroids. And also your forearms have a lot of ligaments in them and that makes it hard to build those ligaments because they're not really meant for growing. They're meant for just keeping everything in place. Anyways, uh, but it's still possible you can still get great forearms while being natural and while not being genetically gifted. You don't want to get them too big because then you look like Popeye and, you know, it's just a, it's a great character and stuff as, you know, in terms of cartoon, but it's just not for everybody, okay? And you also don't want to get too small forearms because that just wouldn't look good with biceps. Like, what's the point of big arms if you don't have, if you have small lower arms, you know? But anyways, uh, make sure you're maximizing the potential in every exercise possible, okay? That's something that's very important. And again, I can't stress this enough, it is still possible to build great forearms. Uh, outside of these exercises, I want you guys to do deadlifts, I want you guys to do stuff that's going to exercise your forearms in other ways. I'm going to start doing it, okay? I'm always forgetful about my forearms and they, they could be better, but that's because I'm forgetful, okay? So I'm going to say that's the excuse, that's why I have small forearms. But uh, I'm going to give you guys a little sets and rep regimen for the next six weeks. And that's a gift, all right? Merry Christmas to you guys, or late Christmas, I guess, right? Uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna change it up every single two weeks because it takes two weeks for your body to get used to an exercise or set and rep routine. Uh, so we're just gonna change up the sets and reps routine here and see what happens with that. So for the first two weeks, I want you to do five sets of 20, okay? Now, your breaks, that can vary, just, you know, that's up to you. You know your body, I don't. Go for it, okay? For the next two weeks, I want you to do eight sets of 15, all right? And for the last two weeks, I want you to do four sets of 50. Yes, I know it's a big jump in the rep range, but I think you guys can do it. I think you guys are capable of it. I'm gonna do this myself and see what happens. I want you guys to do it and tell me what happens. And then after this six weeks, you can either start over and do the same rep set and rep range again, or you can come up with your own sets and rep range but I just want to hear what happens, so please, 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 if you decide to do this, please let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll be looking for you guys in the next six weeks to tell me what happened, okay? So with that being said, best of luck to you guys in building those forearms. I know you guys have got this, and I will see you guys next time because I am posting every single Wednesday and Saturday from now to the foreseeable future, and I have some great videos coming to you guys. I hope you have a great day. See you next time.